Question 2. In this tower, two numbers are multiplied to give the number above. So in this example, we've got 3 times 4 gives us 12. Another way of saying that is you could say to get a number underneath, you do the number on top divided by the number in, underneath. So 12 divided by 4 would give us 3, or 12 divided by 3 would give us 4. Now the reason why we say that is because on the question that we've got to do, it says write the missing numbers in the tower below. Well, we can't multiply these two together to get this one because we don't know what this one is in the middle of the bottom row. So what we're going to have to do is use these two to help us to get this one. Well, if 10 times this mystery number gives us 75, then if we work in reverse and do 75 divided by 10, we'll get the number that goes here. So 75 divided by 10 is 7.5. So this number here must be 7.5. Just double check. 10 lots of 7.5 is 75. So that's correct. Now we've got to use the 7.5 and the 3 to get this middle number at the bottom. 3 lots of this mystery number gives 7.5. But we're going to have to work in reverse. So we're going to need to do 7.5 divided by 3. Well, if you split 7.5 into 3, you will get 2.5 in each of the three sections. So this number here needs to be 2.5. Just to double check, 3 lots of 2.5, is it 7.5? Yes it is. 3 twos are 6, 3.5s are 1.5. Put the two answers together, 6 and 1.5 makes 7.5. Finally, we've got this mystery number times 2.5 gives us 10. So if we work in reverse to do a divide, so if we do 10 divided by 2.5, we'll get this answer here. How many 2.5s given to 10? The answer is 4. So this answer here must be 4. Quick check. 4 lots of 2.5 gives us 10. So that works. 3 lots of 2.5 gives us 7.5. So that works. And 10 lots of 7.5 gives us 7.5. So everything seems to work.